Hello students. Okay, let's have a look at index law number three. So what we have here is a power, a to the power of two, and that entire power is raised to another power, which is a to the power of three. So let's go ahead and figure out how we can simplify that. In other words, in this case, we want to write it without the brackets. So a squared all cubed just means a squared times a squared times a squared. Using index law number one to multiply powers with the same base, add the indices, and that simplifies to a to the power of six. So a squared all cubed gives us a to the six. Okay, you can probably guess what the index law is going to be, but let's go ahead and just confirm it. b to the power of four times b to the power of 4. Since we're squaring, we multiply b to the fourth by itself. To multiply powers with the same base, add the indices, and we get b to the power of 8. So if you look at those two examples, um, have a go at writing down what you think index law number 3 is. When we raise a power to a power, what's the shortcut for simplifying? And let's just see if what you wrote down is the same as what's on the next page. Okay, index law number three, to raise a power to a power, multiply powers. Algebraically, a to the power of m, all to the power of n is a to the power of m times n. And over here we have a worked example. Okay, let's go ahead and apply that to a few questions. So the first one is b squared all to the power of 3. Well, that's going to be b to the power of 2 times 3, which is b to the power of 6. To multiply powers, sorry, excuse me, to raise a power to a power, multiply the powers. By the way, students tend to get this one correct most of the time because well, it looks like you get a multiply two times three, so it doesn't go against your intuition. Let's try this one slightly harder. K squared all to the power of four. Well, that's K to the power of two times four, which is K to the power of eight. K cubed to the power of three. That's gonna be K to the power of three times three, which is nine. And finally, index law number one, to multiply powers with the same base, add the indices. Okay, have a go please at the remaining two questions. Okay, let's see how you went on these. So the first step is to expand out this and get rid of the brackets. That's gonna be m to the power of three times three, which is m to the power of nine. That's gonna be m to the power of four. Now, once again, we have one coefficient there. There's really a coefficient of one there. One times two is two. So we write the coefficient first. And we have m to the ninth times m to the fourth. Well, to multiply powers with the same base, we add the indices. And the final answer is 2m to the power of 13. Okay, but this question here, I'm going to first write that as a fraction. Don't have to do, do this, but because we're used to simplifying fractions uh, by dividing out common factors, I will do it this way, but you might have done the question without doing this. Okay, that gives us P to the power of three times four, which is P to the power of 12. This gives us p to the power of 2 times 3, which is p to the power of 6. And finally, to divide powers with the same base, we subtract indices, and that gives us p to the power of 6. Okay, so things to be careful of. Um, when you've got p cubed all to the power of 4, you multiply the powers, not add. Okay, we'll stop the video there and move on to the next index law in the next video.